Hi there, I am going to do an example software assessment, uh, and I have chosen to pick the software called a Display Fusion. So uh, right now I'm on a desktop running Windows, and I want to right click and launch Display Fusion. So I'll just bring up the, the settings. And uh, the reason I picked this program was in part because I want to show you what my, my setup looks like. So here's a picture of my desk right now. So this monitor is the one here on the right. And I have the second monitor set up in portrait mode. And I was having a little bit of a frustrating time trying to get just a wallpaper to look nicely on it and to manage how windows would move uh, around. And doing a little bit of research, I came across this program called uh, Display Fusion that has lots and lots of things that you can do with it. So everything from uh, stretching out your um, uh, wallpaper to creating uh, custom functions, which I thought were really neat. So I actually made some. There's one of the things I found on the on the portrait monitor. So the one that is here is that uh, I couldn't get things to snap to the um, to the screen. So I can snap this to the top of the screen. I can also snap it to the side of the screen. That's by default on Windows 10. But uh, I couldn't snap just to the top half and bottom half of that portrait monitor. But Display Fusion allowed me to create a custom function. So if you look here, it says uh, size and move window to the bottom of the monitor. And I made the keyboard shortcut Alt Control down to do that. So now if I select a window and type Alt Control and hit down, it'll snap it to the bottom half. And Alt Control uh, up snaps it to the top half. I also made keyboard shortcuts for to the left and to the right. And then also uh, one to go full screen. So I really thought that was a, a neat feature and it's made using the um, program uh, very convenient. One thing I didn't like about it that I found out uh, after the fact is that you need to start it when Windows launches. So uh, the snapping of these windows didn't work for me when I first started trying to use it. And I found out because I had disabled running Display Fusion on startup, which means that this program, this software does need to be running in the background on my computer in order for some of these functions to, uh, to work. It's, I think, a, a fair trade-off uh, because I really like the functionality, but that was one thing that I noticed. From a user standpoint, I also I appreciate how organized uh, this window is. It, there's a lot of uh, you know, different options if you're getting into some of the more um, you know, uh, technical uh, things that you can do. Like you can write triggers, actually, that are, I haven't gotten into, but uh, you know, if I were to launch this application have the windows rearranged this way or change the brightness of the screen. You can do a lot of really neat things. Uh, so I, I appreciate that these are organized and broken down. Uh, I wish that this window could be bigger. Like it's ironic, I can't maximize this window. I think even if I, that's if I try to snap it, if I try to snap it full screen, it won't even allow me. So that was one thing I didn't quite like about it. Uh, but otherwise I love the functionality of the software application. I think it's very uh, easy to use, although not quite, that intuitive. It took a little bit of time fooling around with it, but uh, that is my assessment of this piece of software. All right. Bye now.